It's so great to have you home, honey. Thanks. I'm glad to be home. I can't wait till your sister sees you. Mom, what is it, honey? I know Emily hates me. Oh, sweetie, Emily's your sister. She loves you. But she hates me. She didn't have anything nice to say to me when I left. Honey, just give her time to get used to it. Her, give her time? What about me? Honey, before you get upset, wait until your sister gets home to see what really happens. I know what's going to happen. While I was there, I called, I called Emily. I called here. Remember when after I was done talking to you on the phone, I asked to talk to Emily and she wouldn't come to the phone? Honey, she had homework on a Friday night. Well, honey, before you start worrying yourself, and you'll wind up going back to the hospital. Just wait and see what happens. I'm home. And you'll find out what happens now. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. Look who's home. Your sister's home. Hi, Emily. Mom, um, I have some homework to do, so if you'll excuse me, I invited my friend Sage over so we could work on a project. Is that okay? That's fine, but don't you notice your sister sitting here and she said hi. Aren't you going to say hi back? Hi. I'm, I'll be in our room. Wish I had my own room. See? I know it. She hates me. Mary Ellen, don't be ridiculous. Me be ridiculous? Me be ridiculous? She hates me. Honey, she does not hate you. Yes, she does. I know... What I did was wrong, but that's why I went to get help. I know, honey. And you didn't know what you were doing was wrong. You really thought that I was after you. I wish I'd never gone to the hospital. Honey, if you hadn't gone to the hospital, you would have wound up hurting yourself or hurting somebody else. You did the right thing by admitting yourself to the hospital. Well, you helped me do it. I know. But you went along with it, and you got to be proud of that. You want me to be proud about the fact that I was in a mental hospital? Honey, you were willing to get better. I just feel like I let the whole family down by going. No. This family is proud of you for getting the help that you need. And you seemed a lot happier now. Well, I was until I saw Emily, because saw how she hates me. Why don't you go talk to Emily? Why don't you throw your arms around her and tell her how much you missed her? Like she would let me do that? It's worth the shot, isn't it? Talk to your sister. <sighs> okay. Hey, what do you want? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm doing some research for a project at school. My friend Sage is coming over and we're going to work on it. So how have you been since I left for the hospital? Fine. Mom wasn't fine, though. She was miserable when she got back from taking you to the hospital. She thought she was a failure. She thought, what did I do wrong? I'll never forgive you for, for letting Mom think that. I can't control what Mom thinks. No. But you could have controlled the way you thought. Look, I was sick. I don't want to hear it. I will never forgive you for accusing Mom of beating you up. She didn't beat you up. I was sick. Yeah, you were sick. Well, I was. I didn't know what I was saying or doing or anything. And besides, Mom's the one that made it a big deal that I was watching the nanny on, on the computer. She made it a big deal because 
I didn't get my homework done before I watched the nanny. And she did hit me. No, she didn't. I was there. I, I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. Well, you're going to have to. We all do things we don't want to do. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I have to do this. Just go talk to one of your friends you met at the hospital. We're not allowed to. Well, fine. Find somebody to talk to, but don't talk to me. Because you accused mom of beating you up. I was sick. Yeah, whatever. Just leave me alone. Emily, look, you don't understand. I understand that you're a liar. Look, being, being mentally sick is just as bad as being physically sick. I don't want to hear it. Just leave me alone before I say something I'm going to regret. <sighs> Mom, it's just not right. Why doesn't Emily love me anymore? Honey, she does love you. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's just sh ashamed to be with me. You didn't hear all the mean things she said to me in our bedroom. Honey, just give Emily time to adjust. Give her time? She's not the one who spent two weeks in the mental hospital. She's not the one who has to explain to her friends why she's there and she doesn't have to face the kids at school tomorrow and asking where I was. Mary Ellen, honey. Come in. Hey. Hi, Sage. Emily is in her room. Okay. Hi, Mary Ellen. It's good to see you. At least you're happy to see me. Well, who isn't happy to see you? Your friend Emily has been giving her sister a hard time. Oh? If you want, I could talk to her. It wouldn't do any good. It would. How do you know that? Well, you were in on the seventh floor, right? Yeah. Well, what you guys don't know is that I was there. What? Really? Yeah, I went there too, to the adolescent program. I was sick too. And Emily doesn't know that? You guys have known each other since we moved here. I know. But that doesn't mean we tell each other every little thing about each other. Are you really telling the truth? I really am. I'll talk to Emily. We'll fix this. Sage, I appreciate the fact that you want to help, but you it's not your job to fix things. Maybe not, but Emily is my friend, and you're her sister. I'll get you two to talk again. I promise. Why are you so concerned about Emily's and Mary Ellen's friendship? Because Emily is one of my best friends, and Mary Ellen's her sister. If I was lucky enough to have a sister, I would always be there for her. We'll fix this. Just hang in there, okay? Thanks, Sage. It's open. Hey. Hey, Sage, you ready to walk? Yeah, I am, but I'm not ready to walk on the project. What do you mean? What do you want to work on, then? I want to help you work out the relationship between you and your sister. You mean the psychopath? So Mary Ellen wasn't exaggerating or fibbing. You really do hate her, don't you? Not that I hate her, I'm just ashamed to be related to her because she had to go to that nut house. Well, you know what? I've been to that nut house. What? You mean you visited Mary Ellen? No, I was a patient there. And it's not a nut house. It's a psychiatric ward. Yeah, well, whatever it is, can't believe I'm related to somebody who was there. You know, what I never told you 
was that before you moved here, I was on that floor. You're yeah, right. I'm serious. I was. I was very sick. Very, very sick. I wasn't well. Sage, this isn't funny. I'm not joking. Mary Ellen loves you. If she loved me, and if she loved Mom, she wouldn't have made she wouldn't have made the accusation of Mom and me beating her. Mary Ellen was sick. I know how she feels. Why were you in the psych ward? I was so depressed that I tried to tried to what? <sighs> Commit suicide. What were you so upset about? I don't know, a lot of it just built up. I mean, I had just lost my parents and I had to live with my aunt. I tried out for the musical at the time and did not make it. I was having problems with people in school. I was having problems with my grades. I was fighting with my friends. I was really devastated. So... You really, you really went to the hospital for that? That's how unhappy you were? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's different than being physically sick. No, it isn't. I mean, it's different, but it's just as serious. I just can't be around Mary Ellen. What if she tries something in front of me? Or what if she tries to get me and Mom in trouble? And brings us to court and everything. And then she'll claim that it's because she's sick. Mental illness is a real thing. And let me ask you this. Have you ever been sick? Yeah. Have you ever seen a doctor? Yeah. Has a doctor helped you feel better? Yeah. Mental illness it's just as bad as a physical illness. I know. I've been through it. I uh, can't believe I'm friends with a psycho. I'm not a psycho. And neither is your sister. I know deep down you're glad to see her and you want to help her. Bring Mary Ellen in here. We can work on the project later. You mean you're not against me now that you know that I was in a psych ward? You were really sick. So is your sister. Bring her in here. Okay. I'm going to head to the library and get some more information for our report. I'll call you tonight. Okay. Hey, Sage said you wanted to see me. Sit down. What's up? I, um, I want to apologize. What? I was extremely <laughs> insensitive to you. Did you know Sage was in a psych ward, too? Yeah, she told me that. Yeah. And I realized that Sage is just as normal as I am. Yeah, she is. Look, I am so sorry that I was so mean to you about this whole thing. I guess it was just pure ignorance. Or cruelty. Yeah. I was being really cruel. It's just that... I just got so mad of the possibility that mom could have gotten in a lot of trouble because of what you said. Look, I know I was wrong, but I was sick. I wasn't thinking clearly. I know. I know you weren't. So how was the hospital? I don't know. You would know if you even bothered to talk to me on the phone or visit me. Yeah, I know that I was wrong to... 
treat you the way I did and to not talk to you. I guess I just didn't understand. At least not until Sage told me about it. Well, I tried to explain to you, but you wouldn't listen. I guess it was just easier for me to get angry with you than it was for me to try to understand. I guess in a way I was being lazy. Yeah, I guess so. And you know what, Mary Ellen? What? I'm glad you're back. I missed you. Really? Yeah. And I'll do anything I can to make this up to you. You don't have to make it up to me. Just be my sister again. Just love me the way you always did. I've always loved you. We haven't acted like it. You're right. I haven't been. And I'm sorry about that. I was... I was wrong. And I'm glad you're back. Thanks. I'm glad I'm back, too. I mean, I'm not fully recovered yet, but I'm a lot better than I was, and I'm well enough to be home, obviously. Yeah. Just promise me one thing. What? Promise you'll try to keep fighting to get better, and that you don't go back to that place. Emily, I'm counting on that. Can I help you with your paper? Sure. I'd love some help. Okay.